Hello and welcome to Smooth Fusion Sitefinity version 11 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to edit existing pages. I've already logged in and have navigated to the Pages tab where you can see your page tree as well as an option to create new pages. So on the left over here, I have the page titles as well as the descriptions on whether it's published, unpublished, or is a group page. Additionally, pages can be saved as draft and you will see that status marked here as well. So on the right side, we have additional actions that you can take for that page. So you can delete, unpublish, and duplicate pages from here, but you can also navigate directly to the page's titles and properties to modify that. So we're gonna dive into modifying the marketing page. And once your page has loaded, it'll look something like this. Granted, the content and styling will be different, but you should be seeing content on your page. So for the sake of this video, I'm not going to run through how to use each and every one of these widgets, simply just how to modify existing items. So I have already a populated page, and some of these widgets are out of the box, and some of them are custom. Content blocks are pretty widely used across all Sitefinity sites. These are fairly simple to edit. Simply click the edit button and it opens the widget designer in which you can edit content for that content block. There are multiple views for this. So there's HTML, rich text editor and the HTML view, whichever you feel more comfortable with. If you were to make changes, you could do so here. Type press save you'll see your changes reflected here. And if you do not want to publish your page yet and you still want to preview your changes prior to publishing, you can do so by clicking the preview button. And this will open that page with your changes. Now that's just a simple copy change. Some of the other changes that you might make to a page is adding additional widgets. For the sake of ease, we're gonna simply add additional content blocks. So you found where on the page you want to add the content you simply drag and drop that widget to the page to add it there and then select either edit or click the icon in the center of the widget. You can add your content here, preview it here, and you'll see your content is now there, though it's not terribly aligned well. Additionally, you can add additional uh, layout widgets, and this is just for setting up different grids. As you see here, we have a grid 444, which is used to align these widgets. So if you are trying to structure content in a grid-like pattern, you will want to navigate to the layout tab, drag and drop that item onto the page, go back to your content item, select the widgets you want to add, and just drop them in and they will show in those spaces. And once you've made your edits to the page and you have decided to publish it, you can do so by pressing publish or you could save as draft if you need additional reviews before publishing or you can schedule a publish publication date using this method under more actions. And if you need to navigate to the page's titles and properties from the page editor, you can do so in the upper right corner at titles and properties, and this will take you to this view. And once you've made these changes and you save them, it will take you back to the page editor. So if you have published a page and content on it is incorrect and you need to go back to a previous version, you can do so through the revision history. This page for the, in this demo does not have any older history, but if you had multiple versions of this page, you would see them here. And you could click on the version that you would like to see, and it will give you a preview. And if you do decide to keep that version, you can revert using this method. That's it for this video. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and our blog. And for more Sitefinity tips and tricks, follow us on YouTube.